Ripple XRP, there is still some hope left for us. We do actually have a new tweet coming in from Brad Garlinghouse. Maybe a little bit of reassurance for all of you XRP holders out there in how he is not giving up on the SEC lawsuit. We also have some good news in this potential upcoming bull run because we have seen Trump made a speech about crypto in general and what he'll be bringing to the table in terms of this election of this year. So of course it's big news. We're also going to be having a look at where XRP was reinstated and the price action of XRP coin today. So all I ask from you are two things, which is to smash that like button and to subscribe to the channel if you want your XRP news coming in. Also comment down below your price prediction of XRP and where you can see it go by the end of this year. As you can see, the market is green so far. It is a Saturday, so we're doing a bit better compared with yesterday. Some gains have been made. Now, Brad Gallinghouse has tweeted this out and it is a piece of artwork. Laugh now, but one day XRP will power the world. Of course, there has been a lot of speculation as to whether or not XRP has basically lost steam. I mean, we've seen it go from a market cap in fifth place to seventh place. Not only that, a lot of people in the community or outside of the community are starting to give up on XRP in general because of this ongoing lawsuit. So he says, for whatever reasons, I've been hanging on to this one for a while. I'm probably my all-time favorite from the XRP community. And it's been hanging on a wall in my house, but with all of this momentum in the market, I wanted to share it. So he actually shared this just on the 24th of May. Yesterday, it's got 665,000 views and you can actually see him in the mirror. But guys, it does go to show that Brad Garland House has been here since day one. He's obviously not less. Continued with the lawsuit, always provided us with updates on what's going on. Definitely been transparent with everything as well. And I think it goes to show that we really have someone good at Ripple and that they will be trying to win this lawsuit. And that's definitely what we need, right? And I know that this lawsuit has been dragging out for so long and it seems like as if it could take possibly even longer, maybe another three months, for example, because of the extensions that have been happening and going back and forth with the SEC. And so I thought that I'd point this out for you over here. Coming in from DGen News, we have the ETH ETF. Now we did know just a couple of months back that this would be coming out. And of course the deadline was the 23rd of May. So we have the host from CNBC that the SEC said an interaction with these the spot ETH ETF applicants is a strange development. And of course politics may have played a role within this. I mean, we also know that when it comes to elections and crypto markets in general, that power and politics do play a lot. And that's something that we cannot necessarily change. Let's take a look at this. A deadline day for the SEC on the first ever Ethereum ETF. Bob Pizzani follows the story, as you know, and is here at post nine. Um, I mean, we know how the Bitcoin decision went. Is there any reason to believe that this will be any different? Uh, there is a rather strange development this week that happened. Gensler has been implacably hostile to the whole concept, and he may have changed his mind. We're waiting. And so far, there's no word from the SEC, at least not yet. SEC Chair Gary Gensler spoke at an industry conference this morning and did not say whether the agency would give a thumbs up or down to spot Ethereum ETFs. Today is the deadline for approval or denial of the Van Eck Ethereum ETF. That was the first application. This week, the SEC executed a stunning about face on these spot Ethereum ETFs. It previously had had no interaction, none, with any of the applicants as they normally would if the SEC was inclined to approve the applications. So everybody assumed they would be denied. But on Monday, the SEC asked applicants to update their filings. Regardless, the ETFs will almost certainly not begin trading this week, even if they are approved, because the SEC does not have time to go through all of the individual ETF S1 applications. There's nine of them, and it will likely want to approve all of them at once. And everyone's been trying to figure out what happened here. Why suddenly did they start communicating when it's been crickets? And the only real explanation most people are giving right now is just a political one, and that is Trump came out very much in favor of crypto. Biden felt he had to react. Uh, Gensler has been hostile to the whole concept for a while and just now saying on Monday okay guys let's open up discussions about this is a sign of, a, of some kind of hate it or love it this is a voting block and so from that you can see over here that politics obviously does play some sort of role within it but it does seem like as if we could potentially be moving forward with the Ethereum ETF of course if it does get approved I'm not quite sure if there's going to be a lot of people with their arms up in the air because of that question as to whether or not ETH is a security. But Trump does actually talk about being pro-crypto. 
and what he will be doing if he, of course, wins the election versus Biden. Let's take a look at this one. They are against it. The Biden, uh, Biden doesn't even know what it is. If you ask Biden, <laughs> sir, are you for or against crypto? What's that? What the? Get me off the stage. <laughs> you say, get me off the stage. Now, he has no idea, but hey, look, the Gensler is very much against it. The Democrats are very much against it. And I say this, uh, a lot of people are very much for it, probably a lot of the people in this group, uh, and I'm fine with it. I want to make sure it's good and solid and everything else, but I'm good with it. And uh, if you want, if you like crypto in any form, and it comes in a lot of different forms, if you're uh, in favor of crypto, you better vote for Trump. And to be honest with you, he really isn't wrong on this one, especially when it comes to Biden. A lot of the times, Biden doesn't even know what he's saying. We have seen it in a few of his speeches, especially when he does take his little naps in meetings as well. But I'm more than sure that he won't even know what crypto is about. And so how can you vote for somebody that doesn't even know what the next big thing is going to be? And that is why I think that Trump is probably going to win. There is a high likelihood of him winning, especially with the younger audience with cryptocurrency in general. Because of course, cryptocurrency enables you freedom to be able to do what you want with your assets, with your monies, and we don't want to be tracked, right? And that's the whole thing with this. When we have other sort of administrations, for example, that are not allowing you to do things, then it just put a restriction on that, and of course, you won't want to vote for them. Coming in from XRP drops, we have that XRP will be reinstated in the CMBI 10 index. So the index itself is designed to measure the performance an investor would expect from investing in a diversified basket of crypto assets. Pretty straightforward to be honest with you. You can literally, for example, pick out your certain assets and see how much you're going to be able to, of course, get in the return, but it is only an expected and not guaranteed. So, and this is the announcement. So XRP will be reinstated in the index Coin metrics have reviewed and determined that XRP meets all investability criteria outlined in our CMBI multi-asset methodology and as a result it will be reinstated effective in the June index review and of course the reason as to why they were removed is because of the lawsuit. And so guys it's just good to show that the lawsuit is the anchor to XRP so far and it is weighing it down. That's a problem. And unfortunately, the lawsuit has gone on way too long. And this is the reason as to why I think a lot of people aren't giving up on XRP in general. But when we are seeing certain things like this just happening, and it might not be a big thing, but just these little things, that means that we'll then be able to have a snowball effect when we see other things. For example, when we saw XRP being added to the Grayscale Fund, I think that really goes to show progress with XRP in general. Coming in from Standard Chartered, they say that the price of a digital asset will be what people are willing to pay for it and market cap will become irrelevant. I mean, there have been talks that Bitcoin could potentially be hitting $100,000. ARK Invest have predicted that price. And to be honest with you, they're not really that far off. I mean, looking where we are at now at nearly 70K, it's not bad. But for example, when we were back at $22,000, just last year. A lot of people wouldn't have even dreamt of the price target of $100,000. But look at the massive amount of gains that we've had in the past year, 158%. We're only $30,000 away from the $100,000 mark. So the price action of XRP today, we are currently trading at 53 cents at 0.5386. We are up by 2.79% on the one day chart. With the 24 hour volume, we're down by 58.37%. And we are trading at 945 point one million dollars if we have a look at the seven day chart you'll see over here we started off the week at 52 cents just under two cents from where we are now the high of the week we went to 55 cents and now we are trading at 53 cents on the one month chart we are only up by 3.3 percent and the lowest that we went to for the month in general was below that 50 cent mark at 49 at 48 cents and so for the short term, the price action of XRP, I want to see if it is able to hold the 52 cent line. If we can hold there and then propel to 55 cents, that would be a great support for us. I don't want to see it go back below 49 cents, but if it does, that is where we could see some more downside. Guys, if you want your daily XRP coin news, subscribe to the channel and like the video as well.